What's up, Thrashers? Welcome back to the Thrash Maniac 99 YouTube channel, and it's time for yet another album review. And this one, oh, is it a big one for me? This album actually has been out for a couple of weeks, uh, or a little over a week, I should say, and I just now got into it today. I've given it a couple of spins, and I'm here to talk about it. The brand new album from Swedish progressive metal band Soen. And it's, a, and it's entitled Imperial. Now, not going to get into the full history of Soen. Just go back and watch my review of their last album, Lotus, which came out just two years ago. These guys put, are putting out a consistent output of music. Uh, every two, three years, they keep putting out something new, something cool, something fresh. And I'm here to talk about Imperial. So, but just a quick Reader's Digest version of Soen. Soen started back in about... 2010 by former Opeth and Amana Marth drummer Martin Lopez because he wanted to get back into playing again after he had left Opeth for mental health reasons and an illness he was going through and he wanted to get back behind the kit again and so he formed it at first it was a super group featuring uh, members of other prominent extreme metal bands including one Steve DiGiorgio formerly of Death and Autopsy currently in Testament but um They've gone through some changes in the lineup, but Martin Lopez still in the band. And now we're here with Imperial. So this album, 42 minutes long, fairly short for a prog metal album. But we kick things off with a heavy track in Lumerian, which is definitely taking that uh, bass tone and rhythms of a band like Tool or Gojira. Particularly the bass tone of Tool with the rhythms of a Gojira. There's a lot of double kick going on, but it doesn't quite break out of 4-4. It's settling into a groove. And that's what a lot of these songs on this album do. They find a groove, they stick to it, and just follow that throughout the rest of the song. To me, that's very proggy, even though a lot of people want to say the only way you can be proggy is if you play in like three-fourths time signature, five-eighths, what have you. But it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. And Lumerian, one of the heavier songs on the album, no question. But then you get into one of the more melodic tracks, uh, Deceiver. Uh, Monarch, which is the third track of the album, probably my personal favorite. It's that perfect, uh, peculiar balance, as this stupid chair is squeaking on me. It, was, it provides that great balancing act of heaviness and melody. Although, I have to preface, this is not death metal. Not like old Opeth, where Martin was a part of. Um, in fact, with Monarch, you have these beautiful uh, vocal melodies by the lead singer, Joel, who I think sounds like, with, with his vocals, he kind of reminds me of Michael Ackerfeld from Opeth, but with a little more of a higher register. It's kind of in that tone, but just a little bit higher on that end of the scale. So, to me, it's like this singer, Joel, would, to me, would be what Michael would sound like if he never smoked. If I were to <laughs> kind of compare the two to some extent. But the track, Monarch, itself, some great sing-along moments. It's my favorite track of the whole album. And then you get to the end of the first half with the song Illusion, which is definitely more a prog rock song. It's not very heavy, it's very somber and dark and intricate kind of like you would associate with classic prog rock and this song does have a great uh prog rock influenced guitar solo that i really really appreciate antagonist which is the longest song of the album at a little over six minutes in length another heavy monster of a song and again martin lopez just killing it on the drums joel killing it on vocals and the guitars I, you run out of words. I run out of words talking about this album. It's that great. Uh, Modesty being like a great track in its own right. Dissident being another heavy track. And then you end off with the song Fortune, which is arguably closer to a doom metal song. It's very slow, very doomy, kind of like some of the old Opeth stuff that have that doom atmosphere attached on top of the music. And again, the vocals. What more can I say about Joel's vocals? They are just so great. If I had as good of a voice as he did, I would want to try and be a singer of a band like this. And uh, 
yeah, I know this review may not have been very uh, well thought out, so to speak, but I run out of words talking about this album because I've given it a couple of listens and already it has been mind-blowing. I thought their last album, Lotus, was great. It still is a great album, but I feel this one blows Lotus out of the water. And call me crazy, but this is currently my album of the year for 2021, which is why I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. This is a perfect album. Definitely go and check this out. If you're a fan of Opeth, Tool, and Gojira, if you like the vocals and the riffing influence of Opeth, mixed with the bass tones of Tool with the rhythms of a Gojira, you get it with Soen. It is beautiful, it is heavy, it's fantastic. And my favorite tracks of the whole album would be Lumerian, Monarch, Antagonist, and Fortune. Those songs are masterful, particularly Monarch being my number one. So what did you guys think of Imperial by Soen? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All that fun stuff. Uh, until next week, horns high, and I will see you soon. I do not want candles! <laughs> 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 Let's just Levi Christmas getting Stop candles. it! I don't want candles! Ten candles? I'm wrecking myself. Screw that. I feel myself going to a Christmas department store and just hearing someone over in the other room. I do not want candles! <laughs> wow, I have had a brain fart. I do not want candles! Okay. Never forget. I do not want candles! Six toys. No! <laughs> Ten printers? Are you kidding me? This is the worst! I hate you! I did not need candles! I can see that as like a Metallica song. I did not want candles! <laughs>